Hi everybody, this is Night Owl Fibers, a knitting podcast. My name is Rachel. My name is Brenda. There will be show notes down below, so our info for Instagram and my website, things like that will be down there along with yarn, pattern, show notes, show notes mm -hmm. if you're interested in anything we talk about. So welcome back. This is episode 40. Thank you to all new and returning viewers. We are coming to you from Houston, Texas, where it is kind of humid out. Yeah, it's yeah. not chilly and wintry yet. No. We've had a few wintry spells, but nothing quite that is a southern winter. Not yet. Not We've yet. had a few sweater days. Yes. Um, which has been very nice, mm -hmm. but nothing consistent. No. which is normal for us. Yeah. Um, we hope you all had a very wonderful and very nice Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Mm -hmm. um, ours was very, very quiet. It was just Rachel and I. Yeah. And so we just kind of knit and enjoyed some crafty things. And we didn't make pie for Thanksgiving, but we did have a pie a couple of days later. Yeah. No turkey this year. We just decided since my husband and oldest daughter couldn't be with us, we were just going to hold off until Christmas. And do so. a big meal for Christmas. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so we're going to change it up with a few little different segments. Yeah. Um, because we're recording on a different camera. So we're going to have. We're um, going to record in chunks. And so this one will be called All Stitched Together. And it features finished objects. Yeah. I have one. I have three. Want to get the elephant in the, yes. in the room out of the way? So I steaked. This is the Dumyaka Lopa A Lady's Flea Cardigan by Anne Murray. It will be mm -hmm. linked down below. So it is a colorwork yoke knit from the top down. And it's knit in the round. And I steaked it. I'll have video of the steak um, Maybe at the end? At the end. I think it's focusing on my face, not the sweater. <laughs> but I really did it's, enjoy it. It's beautiful inside and out. And I sewed on the buttons yesterday. Well, midnight last night. Last night. <laughs> so here are... Let's see. Will it focus? It, I think it is. Okay. I hope it is because it was a joy to knit. And... I really, really want to wear it all the time. <laughs> like, it's a little warm today wearing it, but all I want to do is wear it. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. It's cool enough outside right now where the ACs are off. We don't need them on. Yeah. Um, so, that's kind of a nice change. Yeah, so I'm enjoying it while I can. Uh, the oatmeal color is Casual Fashion Queen in the Haunt colorway. The rest were minis that I've dyed up and Night Owl Fibers blue suede shoes. So that would be the yarn and the pattern. So yay. yay. Other than a happy little dance that I do when I get to put it on, <laughs> there's nothing else to talk about. I have a finished pair of socks. And this is Rachel's Winter at Hogwarts colorway. Mm -hmm. There are two of them. Um, this is the last club that will come with a charm. A little snowflake charm. I'm just going to cover you up. Uh -huh. um, I messed up my toe decreases when I was at knit night, so they don't match perfectly at the toe. But they're finished. But they're finished and, and they fit beautiful. I used a contrast gray that I had sitting around from a previous pair of socks. So Mm -hmm. um, available online until December 15th and then y'all, oh my goodness, the next colorway comes out and you're going to want to be ready for it. It is beautiful. I really want to like, cast on. Cast on. Yeah. Yes. So this is pair 21 Yay. for the year. You've really been knitting yeah. socks consistently and I have. it's awesome. I always have a sock on the needles. Okay, so I think I'll go in to my shorty socks. So these, I don't have the label with me, but these are um, mustache yarns in the Ray colorway, and this is a West Yorkshire Spinners for heel and toe. I can't remember I think what it's like color nutmeg. I used. Yeah, something like that, and I have this little 
teacup charm. I don't know if it's focusing, but it's got a little lemon inside. We're still learning the new camera and the focus and everything, so hopefully Fingers it's picking crossed. up on everything. So, I don't know, I'm just trying to get it to focus. <laughs> um, these were a lot of fun. I had a total of 30 grams of the mustache yarn because it was her mill, mill end. end that I got at DFW. And so that's why I did heel and toe and I used every last bit of the yarn, which and was nice and fun. how long did it take you to knit those shorty socks, Rachel? Two days, three days if you count that I was just lazy and didn't finish a toe on the two days. second day or something. Yeah. Two days. Approximately two days. Yeah. They were a lot of fun. Okay. Now I have the last finished object. Yeah. These are a pair of socks with contrasting heel and toe, and I did not knit the main body of the sock. I had some sock tubes last December cranked for me from a lovely sample knitter that I've used before. She is with Scarlet on Instagram, so I don't know if she does cranking services. I think she does. But I did a trade with her then for the sock tube, so I had four cranked, and this is the second one I've turned into socks. I put toe and heel in an opal gray colorway, and then I used the leftovers from the skein for 15 rows of ribbing. And it is a sparkly Stellina E base. And ba bam, you have a finished pair of socks. I know, and these took me again, I think, two days. So, yeah. which is awesome. Um, yeah, so finished socks. Those are all of my finished objects for this episode. So now we'll move into our. Um, topic of stitch by stitch. So these are everything we have been working on Works and in progress. everything that's been getting stitch a by little stitch. Yep, everything that's been getting a little bit of love. Two, okay. I have four. I have two. Okay, I'll go first. Awesome. I have finished one of my mustache sesame socks and the pattern is Prairie Sock by K.F. Jones. Those are looking oh, really nice, yeah. I love the pattern on it. It is so much fun. And I have cast, I have my little Notions Pat, or DPN Cozy from Mandy Pinecone. Love it. Um, cast on the second one, and all I have finished is the ribbing. I have my mm -hmm. little cannoli on here, so. Um, you used a contrast heel again. I did, and I think this was from Mustache also. Yeah, it feels like the, the same, same base. base. Yeah. So um, I have my ribbing started for the second one, so no second sock syndrome. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this one gets a little love here and there as I um, have the energy and the space, brain space, to work on it. And if you show them the little teacup, that's where I was the last we'll time we podcast. The camera will focus. So I made a lot of progress on that since the last time anyway, I podcast. Anyway, I don't think it's focusing on the charm, but you were right here, so yeah. you were down. And you did an umbrella toe again, which is yes. also by K.F. Jones. Yes. And then a lovely person, you know who you are, uh, mm -hmm. gifted us some yarn. And it's a West Yorkshire Spinner, uh, I think it's our candy cane colorway. So this is a brand new cast on since last time. I used a red opal. It doesn't quite match the red in the skein perfectly, but I'm okay with that. Um, little shorty socks, yeah. um, heel flapping gusset, and I'm just working my way down the foot now. So yeah, I'm really enjoying these. They're very festive and a lot of fun to work on. So. Hopefully by Christmas Eve I will have these completely done. This will be pair 23. Yeah, and have you, is that your first pair of Christmas socks? It is my first pair of Christmas socks. Year. I have, um, I have a couple more skeins of Christmassy yarn that, um, once I get 23, 22 and 23 done, then I'll cast on 24 if there's time yet before the end of the year. And Yay! Hopefully I will have it done. And in case anybody was wondering, shorty socks do count. I count them. If they are a finished object you can put on your feet, they count in my <laughs> mind. 
Aww. I think I'm going to, um, I do have a green, whoops, oops, yarn down, excuse me. I have a green, um, that'll look really nice with it, that I'm going to do the toe in. So I'll have a red heel and then the a green toe, a green toe. And I can't decide if I want to do the next one with the green flip heel flop it. and flip flop it or if I want to do it the exact same. Yeah. Depends on how much my OCD kicks in and, um, yeah. Okay. So I do not have the pattern with me for this next one. So it is the Sushui Shrug by Suzanne Summer. And it is my brioche project. Hmm. That is looking very pretty. So that is the... Did you separate for sleeves? I did. You have your itty bitty sleeves? I have my itty bitty sleeves. So here's cool. the brioche section for the sleeve. And I use these clover stitch holders instead of waist yarn. Yeah. So if you can see there, can see right here. just like the cord you would have for your in like cool. circular needles. And it has like this little needle bit right here mm -hmm. and a little green rubber thing that you can stick that through. So, so it that stops it from Yeah, from losing falling. your stitches. I find it easier than waste yarn. I love going to Joann's when they have all their knitting tools 25% off and then you get a coupon if you have mm -hmm. their um, app where you can get 40% or 20% off your total purchase, even the on sale stuff. Yeah. So awesome. here is the inside, so the reverse side. And there's too. the little mistakes here and there, but generally I've done really well with it, and it doesn't matter. It's been a learning process. Awesome. awesome. And yeah, again, this is Casual Fashion Queen Haunt, and then the darker mauve side is Gothic Queen by Leading Men Fiber Arts. Mm -hmm. I have a little teacup charm right there. That is where I was last time. Yep. So I haven't made as much progress on this, but other things got done. Yeah, that's how I am. Um, this is my flax light. Oh, look how pretty that's turning out. Yeah. The color on that. Um, flax light, I am still not separated for sleeves. Uh, this is where I was last time, right here. So yeah. I've made maybe an inch of progress on it. It's slow going. But uh, this is flax light. I am doing the garter bumps on the sleeves. Yay. And I think I'm using, um, what size am I using? Mm, US 5, I think. 4s. Okay. US 4s. I had to go down to 4s to get gauge. Um, but this is beautiful, beautiful yarn. It is the Merino Yak in the Regia Premium Merino Yak 4 ply. And. Um, it's just delightful to work with. The other project I have made a ton of progress on is my husband's Christmas present. You have. You are so close to okay. getting that done. This is where I was last time we podcast. I was right here where this little robin egg is. Notice no needles on the bottom. The body is bound off. I have one complete sleeve. Yay. And I am ready to start decreases on the second sleeve. In fact, this is where I was last night when I started, picked it up. Yeah. So this big, huge sweater. Yeah, but it fits him really well. Fits him beautifully. You had him try it on to make sure the sleeve was at the right length for ribbing and everything. Yes. And he is loving it. I am loving it. I will be knitting another one for him. Yeah. Because Oh, it's an enjoyable knit. It's so it much fun. It is so much fun. Why not? And that is um, out of Knit Picks, Bramble Heather, Wool of the Andes, Worsted. So okay. I have one more thing to show. Do you have anything else? I have one more thing that I have been stitching on. Okay, why don't you go ahead and show it? Okay, so I knit sample tubes of everything I dye up. And it's the self-stripe. Well, not everything I dye. Everything I dye for self-striping. Mm -hmm. So this is a nice long tube, and I've been trying to start a second one for my Harry Potter club. Yeah. So I have Headmaster's Pensive, which was knit up for a while. I was halfway done with um, that was January. the garden. January yeah. 
February, January, February, night bus. So I completed night bus. That was March. I hope it's focusing. Okay. So night bus. And then I went into the Howler. And I'm on April. Tom Riddle's Diary now. Which was May. Yep. And these colorways will be coming out again when I get around to dyeing them, which will hopefully be very soon. Hopefully by January 1st. Yeah, so what I'm going to do next year for the 2020 Harry Potter Club is I will dye the colorways up for the month, however many get ordered, and then I'll wait until 2021 to re-release the colorways. Um, yeah, so... So 2019 will be released in 2020. Yep. So if you missed out on any colorways, they will be coming. But these were actually, generally I get like, uh, I don't want to knit the sock tubes because, you know, I want to be it's working on my work. socks. And you can imagine this is like the length of a sock right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you compare, it's pretty long. And, and that's but, only five months. Not even the full five months. This was really enjoyable to knit on this time. I was just in the mood to work on it. And Plus I love... fun colors. Like, there's no way I could have knit everything into a sock this year. So it was a nice way for me to get to enjoy the knitting aspect of being an indie dyer. So this was a lot of fun. I really hope it's focusing. The little icon's focusing on my face, so... <laughs> We'll see how this all goes. It keeps flip flopping back between um, your face and my face. Yeah, so Alrighty. I think that's all I have knit on this. Okay, what? I have one more thing that I've been working on, and it's actually crochet. Awesome. So I am part, I do the row one um, monthly subscription, mm -hmm. and I am working on a Granny Square blanket. So this yeah. was the first month is mm -hmm. the bottom row. And then this was the second month. I have three and four in my basket. Yeah. And five is out for delivery, I believe, or will be delivered. Mm -hmm. I hold the yarn double. So it's so that, fingering weight minis that you get. Right. And you, and you get it. 10 of them. And I'm holding them double. I'm just doing a general granny square. And then I go around with a sport weight um, bare undyed yarn that we have sitting around. Mm -hmm. um, and then I use the stitch together as you go, join as you go, and oh my goodness y'all. There's lots of ends. I am going to have so many ends to weave in. or, or yeah. And then there are ends up on the top yeah, as well as on the bottom. But I am loving how the weight of this, mm -hmm. the fabric of it, the colors, I like the white around it. Yeah, it really lets each color shine through. It does. It really does. So I'm going to do at least 12 months because this is pretty, pretty wide. Um, yeah. At least one year and then probably stop my subscription because I don't need that many minis, but I do want to make a yeah. nice, lovely blanket with it and use up some of that cream or the undyed yarn that we have just sitting around. Yeah. Um, so this is also stitch by stitch I guess definitely on is. my hook um, yeah so I'm a couple months behind but You'll this is time consuming eventually. this is time consuming this segment is, is um, future on the needles future dream knitting um, yeah. what's been going on in our lives general chatter yeah a little um, hodgepodge of everything yeah so mm -hmm. I don't know if you all remembered me talking about my um, so faded? So faded that I was going to wash and throw in the dryer. Well, I did. Mm -hmm. And come on, Kirby. Come on. There we go. Oops. Oh. <laughs> she wants to be up here, too. Puppy almost down. Um, I did. Haha. <laughs> it shrunk. It did. You know why it shrunk? Because I partially felted it. Yay. Wah, 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 wah. But will you still wear it? I will still wear it. The reason it felt it is it had cashmere in it. And I forgot that some of the skeins were MCN. Merino cashmere nylon. Um, total brain fog. Forgot. It does still fit. 
Um, the fabric is just very, very dense at the top and then looser at the bottom where it didn't felt. Um, lesson learned. One of those, oh, rats moments. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that goes to show how big it was on you if even it being shrunk and felt, felted, partially felted, it still fits. It's not. And it's still yeah, loose it's, in the body. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'll probably knit another, another sweater, just not as big. And maybe, and would you still do it faded? I don't think I would do it faded. I think I would do solid color. Yeah. That um, was a fun way for you to jump into sweater knitting and use stash. It was. It was. Yeah. That, that was, yeah, you're right. Um, good point. But, yeah. Sweater fail. Yeah. Um, the puppies got haircuts. Yeah. They look so cute. Yeah. They look so cute. Mommy got a haircut. You did. I chopped off my hair. I was so tired of the two-tone as the color was growing out and fading and it looked yeah. awful, so I went and I got a pixie cut and the hairdresser, when she took five inches of hair off the side, she also took a chunk of ear. Yeah. It bled yeah. for a little while, but it it's, for a long time. it's all right now. It's healed now, but it was just like... Oh. It was the cheapest haircut you've ever had. It was free. Yeah. It was free. Um, it'll grow, and I'm okay with the gray coming in. Mm -hmm. um, I'm embracing the gray. Yeah. So, so um, yeah. Yeah, so back, I suppose, to... What are you going to knit next? Crafty thing. My dream name, my next thing on the needles, will be a sweater. It will be mm -hmm. the Throwback by Andrea Mallory. So that has a little bit of color work in the yoke, and then it's just plain. And this will be my plain color. Doo -doo. It is the Bear Heather by Knit Picks in the Wool of the Andes Superwash base. And I'll use leftovers for the color work, so things I've used in other sweaters out of this base. That'll be so pretty. Yeah, I did try printing off the pattern, but the printer ink ran out. So I'll probably try to insert a picture if I can. Yay. If not, it's a very popular pattern and you'll see it on the needle soon enough. Yeah. Um, and then I am going to cast on a pair of socks out of Paper Wings, which is a Night Owl Fiber colorway. And that's all I have in the works. Future knitting? Yep. Yeah, I need to get some things off my needles before I, I uh, carelessly and recklessly cast on more. Yeah. I have the sock tubes on the needles. The Sushui Shrug, and then this, I said sock tubes, sorry, one produce bag, which I did work on last night. <laughs> it got a few stitches. It, it got a few <laughs> stitches, but that will be done hopefully tonight. Yeah. Um, but I have exactly three things on the needles. The sock tubes don't really count because, like, they will get work done and I will show yeah. them, but they're not necessarily an end in sight kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and so the only real project I feel like I have on the needles is the Sushui Shrug. Yep, Abby's done being a, yeah. a co-host. Um, we have listened to a book. Oh, this is really awesome. It was on Audible. We listened to The Guardians. By John Grisham. It is so good. Really oh good. my gosh. So it was about convicted felons that were innocent and wrongfully convicted and this nonprofit group called Guardians Ministry and how they were working to free and prove the innocence of these convicted felons who were innocent. Yeah. And it was oh my gosh, it was, really it was good. so awesome. It briefly touched on five stories but it mainly held with one prisoner's story. Mhm. Mm and it was really, really it was, good. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. It was we amazing. We would listen to it for like five hours straight while we were doing like housework or yarn or anything. Work like, while, we, while we were working. Yeah, yeah, or knitting. It was just like, we have to keep listening to this. Yes, and it was just like somebody would come home and we're like, shh, quiet, the book's on. We're a good part. We need to wait, go back because we didn't catch all of that. Yeah. 
Yeah. It was really, really good. Mm -hmm. And then you went to a concert last night with your sister. I did. I admittedly was not looking forward to it. <laughs> we have very different tastes in music, so like if I were surfing the radio trying to find something, I wouldn't land on that song or that band to listen to. Speaking of listening to, I'm sorry Abby was shaking with her collar rattling. We forgot to take them off. Um, but it was um, enjoyable. It was friendly people around. It was standing room only, so... A lot of standing and but it was really good your sister um, had a really good time she did one of the artists got in the um, crowd and she was the third person back from him and everybody was jumping up and down and it was really high energy I tend to listen to more singer-songwriter or country uh, acoustic sort of things so it was fun like yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, speaking of country, Garth Brooks had a uh, special on A and E. The Road mm -hmm. I'm On is what it was called, and I think you can catch yeah. reruns of it um, coming up here. That was good too. It was really good. Um, yeah. Talked about his career, how he got started, um, where he's at now. It was, um, it was really, really good. Yeah. I would love to get. Um, the Legacy, which is his new vinyl and CD collection yeah. that is out, but I think it runs about 200 bucks. And we don't have a I don't record have, player. I don't have a record player. Yeah. Um, but I did not realize that CDs were kind of a thing of the past. Well, I do not know if that's true. Somebody was handing out CDs. It might have been the lead singer of one of the bands. I don't know. They were wearing the same jacket, but I didn't remember what the lead singer because I listen to the music I don't watch videos or follow people on Instagram as far as artists go so I wasn't sure but he was handing out CDs and uh, for a record label that he had started and the person behind us the second they walked away was like well I don't even have a CD player in my car and then he started making fun of the girl he was with about how are you going to listen to that? Yeah, and she's just like, in my car, because my car has a CD player. And it was just like, even my laptop doesn't have a CD player. I'm like, yeah, I know I don't, like, have the latest technology and everything. But and we drive older vehicles. And older vehicles. But are CDs really outdated? I don't know. That's something that would be interesting. Yeah, I mean, when we go on a road trip, it's CDs. Yeah. I don't listen to a radio. We put... I mean, at home I listen to Spotify and I use my devices to listen to music, but yeah, I use CDs still in the car. Yeah. So it was just a strange perspective to have. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Interesting. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't think that there's much else that's happened. Not, not really. I mean, it's... Um, I do have some yarn to show. So these will be in a January 1st Night Owl Fiber shop update. I have the little samples in my bag here to be knit up into a new sock tube. Yay. So I have this colorway. Is which that, which is, collection is that? This is going to be a... Animated movie collection? Yes. And so I do a Harry Potter Club, but these are going to come out one colorway a month and they will be continue to be up and they'll be restocked and you'll be able to get them year round. Year round. It won't be as limited. So this is Snow White and her seven dwarves. That's so pretty. And I want to knit that one. <laughs> it has seven stripes for the dwarves, a black stripe for her hair. A light blue, a dark blue, a red, and a yellow, all mini stripes, and then another black stripe. So you will get to see how it knits up. And I'm also sending one of each of these off to be cranked into sock tubes because I don't think I'll get, I want some new samples and I haven't, don't think I'll be able to knit them fast enough with the Harry Potter Club. 
So this is chil well, books, children's books. Is this another new collection? Yes. So I have the animated movies, which is the Snow White and Her Seven Dwarves. That'll be January's new colorway mm -hmm. for that collection. This collection will be... Children's books. Children's books. And it'll be Harold and the Purple Crayon. That's so pretty. if you've ever read that one to your kids or if you go had check it, it out read it is a as classic a it is a classic it is it's your dad's super like cute. what book i'm like Harold yeah. and the Purple Crayon did your mother never read that to you when you were a child no i'm like but, oh you poor deprived child it's a classic but it is going to be january 1st when these come out the stripe sequence for this one is six stripes. I don't remember the order off the top of my head because <laughs> of uh, my memory lately. It's light gray, dark gray, light purple, a magenta -y color mm, that's kind gray. of grape, and then a dark royal purple. And I really love this one. That one's nice. So I'll get to see turn these from sock tubes into socks and have some new pictures new on samples. Instagram, new samples for events I'm going to be going to. Yay! And, yeah. and the first one is the end of January, beginning of February in Corpus, Yellow Rose on the Coast, which is a yeah. brand new event. Event. Yeah, I'm really excited for that one. I'm already starting, I have a list of everything I want to dye up, <laughs> and I'm super excited to start a new year. and. Yeah. Kirby's giving me kisses on my elbow here, on my arm. Um, we've been listening to some new audio podcasts lately. Mm -hmm. I've been doing Bakery Bears. Um, they have an audio as well as their video. Um, but, um, the audio one is just life in general. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty good. And then I found um, a couple others that probably everybody knows about that I just never got into but it's always worth audio mention. podcast but if you have any favorite audio podcasts put them in the comments um, it'd be great to hear mm -hmm. what you recommend even if they're not um, knitting related anything is yeah, really interesting yeah don't forget to like and subscribe uh, hit the bell and so that you can be notified of our mm -hmm. new podcasts and we'll be back in two weeks yeah and we hope you have a wonderful crafty time. So we'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Bye.